Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. I hear something. It sounds like someone's saying, don't forget to like the video. said this before but I'm gonna say it again I know covering these graves or digging graves might make some of you uncomfortable and that's okay I mean death is kind of an uncomfortable subject for a lot of people but it's something we're all gonna go through at some point in our lives and everyone we know is gonna die so hiding from it doesn't ignore it it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen if you just don't think about it we might as well face the facts. We need to enjoy our lives. We need to be happy. We need to reach out to everybody. We need to love everybody. Go talk to your neighbors. Call your grandma, call your mom. You haven't talked to your sister for six years? Go visit her. Stop holding pride as such an issue. Just drop it. Our relationships are the only thing we really have. Our relationship with Jesus Christ is the only thing we can count on. That's the only way to get to heaven, guys. Just in case you didn't know, you have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you don't know where to start, go to a church and talk to someone there. They'll put you on the right path and where you need to go. If you don't like church, go buy a Bible. Read the Bible. You don't even need to buy it. You can download the app on your phone. Just start somewhere. God is good. Jesus is all about love. It's all about loving Jesus. That's all a relationship with Christ is. Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. Jesus loves you, each and every one of us. He died for our sins. None of us are perfect. None of us ever will be. And there's only one way to get to heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. Don't forget that, guys.
And and if you think you have plenty of time to get that figured out, you never know. This person that I just buried just randomly passed away completely unexpectedly. Like, that's it can be taken from us at any moment. Life is an absolute gift. So go out there, make the most of it. Love people, do stuff, put down the video games. Put down the bottle, whatever your problem is. Go out, do something. Do something with your life. All right, guys. I love each and every one of you. Don't forget that. If you ever need someone to talk to, you can DM me on Instagram. I will do my absolute 100% best to get back to each and every one of you. If you have any questions or anything, just write me up on there. God is good. Oh boy, I can't be wasting electricity like that. As you can clearly see, we still have some snow. It's supposed to melt today, so hopefully it doesn't make too much of a mess. I really like how pretty it looks when there's a whole bunch of snow all over stuff, but it's not very fun to work in. Dad should be around the farm here somewhere. Let's see if we can find him. Ah, as you can see, we got some carnage of harvest so far. Got a bunch of little bees wings everywhere. Augers are still looking good. Let's knock on some wood real quick. We don't have any corn piles yet. Wow, this is an absolute first. Let me take that back. We got a little one. I ran the dryer till about 11 o'clock last night. The hopper bottom got empty and this bin just about got full. So I blew air on it all night. Now we're unloading it into the big machine shed. Then when we get started here later, we'll run corn into here while this bin's emptying out. Dad, where you at? Hey, there you are. Here we go, guys. Corn Mountain. It's looking real good. Got about 30,000 bushels in this pile right now. We should get another 10,000 in here today. We're putting it on the other side of the pile right now. You can't see it, but there's an auger that sticks that way. And then once that side gets full, then we'll start bringing it this way. Right in the middle of the rafter here, there's an auger system, so we can turn that on and it starts pumping it this direction. Pretty simple in theory, but, well, it's pretty simple in general. Corn Mountain's gonna be fine for a little while by itself. We're gonna run down to the main heated shop. We gotta service a couple things on the combine. Then we'll pull it out and we'll get to combining. It's been a few days since we've been in the field. We got snowed out, we got colded out, we got broken downed out, we got out. <laughs> wow, I think Cooper actually might have done some cleaning here in the shop. Still got a bunch of trash though. Hey dad. Yeah. Do you feel sorry for what you've done? No. I don't, because Pose was stiff and cold last night. I thought we were done with this. We got a new hydraulic pump put on and there's a little grease circ in there that we need to find so we're gonna spin the engine so it gets lined up with that hole. We'll fill it with a bunch of grease. Then we gotta check a gearbox for its oil level. She's greased and ready to go. Combine brought it in, the combine can take it out of here. Can't say I've ever driven the combine on snow before. And I don't really like the idea of it. Pressure, air pressure, air pressure, air pressure, air pressure, air pressure. Come on, air pressure. Gotta wait for their pressure to build up in these two. I can't fill the combine with diesel fuel until this one's out of the way. And the other one, I might as well just get it warmed up so it's ready to go. Just got out in the field, ready to pull into some corn to start harvesting. Go to flip the combine on, head won't start, and the separator won't start. Everything's hooked up, so I don't know what's wrong. Prime example, it worked perfectly fine the other day when the hydrostatic pump broke, but now, it's been sitting for a couple days. Welcome to harvest, guys. Cooper said check them sensor that we took out. Then there's a couple different ones. You won't tell the engine's beating stuff. Okay, I see I got her open and there's like two little metal strips down on the end. Yep. Pull them out and make sure they're not green. We wiggled a bunch of wires around. We checked different connections here and there. We called two different mechanics. Nothing worked. Called Ryan. He said, hey, why don't you blow out some connections? So I blew out two connections and now it works. Never mind. Made it about that far across the field and everything just stopped again. Come to find out it was all Daddy Cornstar's fault. We filled the hydraulic fluid reservoir full the other day, but we also drained the PTO pump and 
didn't realize we forgot to fill it up so that's why stuff wasn't engaging anyway all we had to do is put some hydraulic fluid in it we didn't run it long enough to hurt anything at least we don't think we did and now everything's working oh come on chuck you're stuck all right it looks like cole is trying to get chuck out of there i'm seeing a little bit of progress it looks like he's struggling too oh and there goes cooper to the rescue Okay, it looks like Cole is trying to empty out that green cart to make it less heavy so that they can move it. Let's see if there's any progress. Oh, oh, it looks like they're moving. Oh, did they get out? They did it! Uh, I knew they could do it. They're corn stars. Okay. Look how happy he is. He did it! All right, Chuck, let's not get her stuck again. Raccoon, you do not understand how lucky you are. They're just lucky Navas with me. Yeah. Cole left me in charge of the combine again. Just kidding, he just went out to go fix something and I took over his camera because I'm bored and I'm in here all alone and it's cold and I don't know what else to do, so. We're farming. You wanna know my favorite part about farming? Farming at night. It's so cool because the sky starts to get really pretty. The lights turn on on the combines and on the other equipment. It's really cool. It's really cool. But anyways, let me show you guys the sky and look how cool it is with all the equipment. And there, there's Cole. Say hi, Cole. I just wanted to show you guys that we're farming. <laughs> how cool is this? We brought the combine into the main heated shop tonight. We're gonna to try to tear into this tomorrow. Something in here went wrong. I was going along in the field. This was just a little bit low on the ground, so I was picking some trash, and then I heard a clunk, and then something went out in there. The rest of the rows were working just fine, but this one wasn't moving at all. Not terribly excited to tear that apart, but it's not too bad to get into. Just hopefully we can get the part and get back up and going as soon as possible. But that's how farming goes. We have breakdowns and it doesn't matter if it's a red machine, yellow machine, green machine, black machine, white machine, gray machine, whatever color machine, they all break. This year we've just been having one of those days every day. We got a lot of stuff we gotta do before we can start combining. Well, not really a lot, but we got stuff we gotta do. We had kind of a long night last night. It was midnight before we got done in the shop. We basically ran out of ideas and had to tear that apart and we were getting kind of tired and hungry and grumpy. So we decided to call it a night. Started again this morning. I gotta run to our local case dealership. I gotta pick up some parts and I'm gonna try to talk to a mechanic to see if he can kind of walk us through how to tear that bottom of the corn head apart. It's something we've never done before so we're kind of learning as we go. Just like how we do most things. And then I gotta grab a bunch of other supplies. We got everything fueled up, greased up, checked out, ready to rock and roll, and then started to start spitting. You can't run very long in the rain because stuff starts plugging up in the machine and then it gets the corn all wet and it just doesn't make it so you can run for very long. We're waiting on a truck to get here right now to take down to our ethanol plant. So our hands are kind of tied till he gets here and hopefully this passes through and we can start combining. But for now, we're gonna be sitting. Dr. Cornstar. I was thinking I could bring you over, you could bring the one semi back. Yeah, sounds good. 
It's not raining hard enough to keep us out of the field right now, but it is raining, and if it keeps up long enough, it will push us out of the field, but we're gonna go as long as we can. Sounds like I'm gonna go get a semi. Hey there, Parker. Hey, number four trucker last year, going for number one this year. Yeah, I doubt it. We're gonna start vlogs with uh, Parker and Cooper. Yep, new feature. So today we got two acres out, we got rained out. So Parker is gonna come nab a load and he's gonna haul it for us. And then, uh, yeah, what do you know, Parker? I just know it's a little wet out here, Coop. Okay, we're back at the combine. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick enough corn to fill both grain carts. We've got a trucker coming. We're gonna load him up with corn, send him off to our ethanol plant. Then we're gonna fill the carts again. Then we gotta stop and we gotta go dig the grave. Once we're done digging the grave, come back to the combine. Sound good? Sounds good. We greased the machine and stuff yesterday and we only made a round, so we don't need to grease it today. Yes, we did check the oil. I'm full. I guess two semis pulled in, so now we're gonna be filling two semis, then the carts, so technically we're gonna be picking three semis worth, then we're gonna go dig the grave. Since I'm sitting here full, I might as well get out and look and see how good of a job the combine's doing. And I might see if I can find the bathroom. Right here works. In case anyone was on the fence about buying a calmer corn head setup, this is the kind of residue you can expect. Small stuff. Looking at the performance of the grain through the combine, it's cleaning it really well and we're not really kicking any out the back. But we're running into one issue, and that's butt shelling. Ah, butt shelling, you ask. What is it? When corn goes into the rows, it gets sucked down violently. See how that shattered everywhere? That's butt shelling. When corn's dry, it does that. When it's wet, it doesn't. I'd rather have dry corn than wet corn, though, but not much I can do about it. Here we are at number three. Silly me. I kind of forgot to record loads four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, whatever we all did, but carts are full. We're going to go dig the grave. Thank you. 